Broki Hawa Brakata, Yawsha, Broki Hawa Brakata, Yahusha, Bahashan, Rakakradash, the bondage to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. Lesson will be entitled America's New Tenants. Lord will you are edified. According to the Etiman, a tenant goes into a possessor. Okay, keep this in mind. A tenant goes into a possessor. Okay, and this is future tense. This is prophecy. Okay, going into what? Post destruction of America. America will have new tenants, new possessors. All right, and according to Isaiah 34 and verse 8. For it is the day of the Lord Yahweh's vengeance, right? The second coming of Yahweh Shai, okay? And the year of recompenses for the controversy of Zion. Zion is another title for the nation of Israel. And the streams thereof shall be turned into pitch, referring to America. And the dust thereof and to brimstone, referring to America. And the land thereof shall become burning pitch, referring to America, meaning to be covered in fire. Verse 10, it shall not be quenched night nor day. The smoke thereof shall go up forever, referring to America. Okay, and forever, meaning a long period of time. From generation to generation, it shall lie waste, referring to America. None shall pass through it forever and ever. And this is literal, referring to America. But the cormorants and the bittern shall possess it. Remember. Remember, a tenant means a possessor, okay? So, the cormorant and the bittern are America's new tenants, okay? After the destruction of America, these desert-like creatures. But the cormorant and the bittern shall possess it. The owl also and the raven shall, shall dwell in it. And he shall stretch out on it the line of confusion and the stones of emptiness. So America's new tenants, okay, will consist of the cormorant, the bittern, the raven, and the owl, okay? They shall call the nobles thereof to the kingdom, but none shall be there, okay? And all her princes shall be nothing, and thorns shall come up in her palaces, nettles, and brambles in the fortresses thereof, and it shall be an habitation of dragons and a court for owls. The wild beasts of the desert shall also meet with the wild beasts of the island, and the satire shall cry to his fellow. The screech owl also shall rest there and find for herself a place of rest. There shall the great owl make her nest and lay and hatch and gather under her shadow. There shall the vultures also be gathered, every one with her mate. Okay, so these are the new tenants of America going into post-destruction of America. Okay, and again, tenant means a possessor. Revelation chapter 18 and verse 1. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. Okay. Verse 2. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and 
is become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird, these desert-like creatures. Also, we have a reference in Isaiah, the 34th chapter. Okay, so the new tenants of America will be desert-like creatures. Lord, will you edify? Shalom.